everyone and welcome back to my channel if you watched the last video then you know we made some pizza dough and some soaps so today's order of business make a pizza are you ready this is the first pizza recipe out of the Fazbear pizza thing. It's called Pepperoni Express. So obviously pepperoni pizza. Got everything laid out behind me. So without further ado, let's make a pizza. All right, so first things first, we want to take our little pizza ball here and we're going to I'm going to lay out some semolina. You can just use regular all-purpose flour if you so choose, but I wanted to be a little fancier today. So, you can use a rolling pin. Go ahead, make sure that you stretch it evenly. You want this to get nice and thin. If you want, you can just, this is where the fun part comes in. You can literally just use your hands. All right, once you got it to your proper size, onto a pan. Beautiful. Now, for the toppings. This one, each of these recipes will call for a quarter cup of sauce on each pizza. So, take your sauce. Down on there, and then I like using a spoon to make sure you leave a little bit of space. That'll be a crust. Beautiful. Now, as well as a quarter cup of sauce, each recipe will call for about a quarter cup of mozzarella. You don't have to measure it out. I'm gonna just to see how the measurements on the recipe fare. Well, let me just spill out part of my cheese. And there, boom, got a quarter cup mozzarella. That doesn't seem like a lot of mozzarella. You know what? I don't know about y'all, but I think this needs at least another little sprinkle. There we go. Now, obviously, pepperoni. I do have my oven preheating over here to 425 degrees. Now this calls for 12 pepperonis. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. All right. Now this one has one odd ingredient here. It is optional, but I gotta try it, right? They want a tablespoon of capers on each one, so. Oh, I'm gonna take my capers, kinda drain the water out of them first. And I'm just gonna sprinkle them. 
this bad boy. And that is the first pizza. Once my oven is done preheating, I'm gonna go ahead and stick this in there for probably about 12 to 15 minutes. And I will show you the finished product when it is done. All right, guys. Look at that beauty. Let's get a pot holder and take her out. Dun, 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 dun. She's as bubbly, crust as golden. She is downright beautiful. Turn off the oven. All right, let me get a pizza cutter out, cut her up, and I will get back to you. All right, I got a few pieces cut here. One last little thing. The recipe said to use some baby arugula. It's just kind of a garnish. Nothing spectacular. And there she is, guys. I cut out just a couple of pieces so that you could kind of see. And voila. All right, last but not least, I know you guys are dying to know how it tastes. So, I'm going to make sure I get a little bit of everything on here. Mm. It's really good as far as pizzas go. The capers are a delicious addition. Mm. Perfect. I'm a mess. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Maybe you'll try out this pizza for yourself. If not, just take it from me. It's a good pizza. <laughs> As always, thank you so much for watching. I love you and goodbye.